This one took a while, but I'm happy to say that Overlord now supports transferring gradient fills and strokes from Illustrator to After Effects as real shape layer gradients. Since version 1.0, it has been possible to update a shape by twirling down and selecting a group, path, or parametric you wish to update. Now in 1.1, updating will also update a shape's fill and stroke colors along with gradients. Clipping mask support is now available in version 1.1. If you're unfamiliar, clipping masks are used like track mats to limit the visible area of a shape. Now when transferring, both the shape and the mask are editable, and the intersection is handled inside of the shape layer. In 1.1, multi-line text will now have much tighter vertical alignment than before. If you're using Creative Cloud 17.2 or newer, transferring text will also bring in line letting or spacing. 1.1 will now factor in After Effects layer positioning on top of the internal shape layer coordinates when transferring shapes back to Illustrator. This works for position and anchor points, but won't factor in parenting scale or rotation because that's just way too much math to calculate efficiently. Updating may be done through the settings menu if you're using the updatable version, or downloaded from gumroad.com if you're using the stable version. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other Overlord videos available at battleaxe.co.